Hello, 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 and welcome to week one of the Watermelon League, season 31. Alexandra Bay Tyranitar versus Capus Casing Carablasts. I'm Rashu, coach of the Capus Casing Carablasts, and my opponent this week is none other than Dunklostius, the Baron of Balk himself. He is known in our league for having very defensive teams. He likes to run defensive options when possible. He likes to have teams that don't go down easily. He also sometimes has some pretty surprising sets. And I think I'm going to have a hard time knocking down a bunch of his threats. But I've, I've got some plans. Uh, I did a lot of calcs for setting up because I really do think some setups needed here. Otherwise... His bulk's just gonna tear me away. Like, I'm not gonna be able to get through that bulk without some setup. So, what I have planned is my Stellar Captain, Blaster the Blastoise, with a White Herb, Shell Smash, Surf, Ice Beam, or Spear. The Or Spear is to deal with some of the threats like Lapras. Otherwise, Surf and Ice Beam handle a lot of the rest of the team. But. Honestly, I might need to uh, get beyond the plus two, but I have a plan for that. That plan being this Volbeat here. Tail Glow, Baton Pass, Encore, Thunder Wave. Encore and Thunder Wave to disrupt. Tail Glow to get some boosts, and those boosts are going to either Blastoise or the Regice. I'm hoping for the Blastoise, because then I can also get a Shell Smash, get to plus five, and that's where I had to do most of my calcs to be able to sweep the team, because my goodness, if you're running defensive sets on that team, it is so hard to take down. But we have the Blastoise there uh, to be paired with the Volbeat. We have Entei here, Normal Terra, Choice Banded, Extreme Speed, Sacred Fire, Iron Head, Crunch. The Extreme Speed with the Choice Band and the Terra. If I go with the Terra, it should be enough to take down the Chiyu. Even if not, it does a very high amount. It can almost one-shot the Chiyu. And does a good amount of damage to this team. Crunch is there, of course, for his Ghost type, the Dusk Noir. And yeah, so I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be Stellar Terra Blaster or Normal Terra Grumpy here. I don't know. I'm just going to have to play that by ear and whatever happens, happens in the match. But I'm hoping for the Stellar Terra just because that little bit of extra damage when set up is needed again. I, I was doing a lot of calcs of plus five and a couple of them I even need the Terra. So we'll see how that goes. I have the Iron Treads next to get some Stealth Rocks. Also Rapid Spin Knockoff and Earthquake Knockoff to get rid of some Leftovers or Salt Faster. Whatever defensive item he has on there, because I know he loves his defensive items. We have Regice. I plan on going Snowscape here to boost the defense with the Tail Glow. That's a plus three for the other attacks. Blizzard in the snow will hit real hard and real reliably. We also have Thunderbolt and Flash Cannon for some coverage. And finally, we have Zamazenta who is rocking an Assault Vest to make it really hard to take down. It'll be plus one defense with the Dauntless Shield, plus one special defense with the Assault Vest. Iron Head, Close Combat, Crunch, Play Rough. It's going to hit the opponent hard, uh, and I'm running a Jolly Sail on that. So let's dive into this match. So we're just jumping into the battle now. Searching, I'm searching. Maybe we'll even find each other, who knows? A few things I think he's gonna bring. As I said, he brings some interesting stuff, so who knows what's gonna happen here. He always catches me off guard. There's the Skarmory that I was expecting. There's the Duskner I was expecting, the Chiyu. Those three I was expecting. Hmm. Okay. No... 
It's called Nokoma O. That's cool. So, do I. Do this for this guy? No, I think I. I think it's better to do this first. Just debating between that and bringing the uh, full beat first, just in case of the Skarmory. That way I could encore it into rocks and get a good setup, but I'm worried about Whirlwind and other stuff. So, I'm just gonna go with tricks. Break some sturdies, break some sashes. Disrupt things, I think. Um, Get my rocks up, potentially knock off the Skarmory if that comes in first. Yeah, we will see how it goes from there. And good luck, Dunk. Uh, it's it's always a fun time uh, battling you, so I'm curious to see what you bring. You always have some interesting sets, I love seeing it. Okay. I could have brought the uh, Bobito first. I think getting rocks up is pretty useful. And he'll see my heavy duty boots. And I'll go for a knock on my, on my own, why not? have an assault vest. Oh cool. Okay. Um, I mean I kinda wanna bring in my what does this do to Volt? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Kind of what I thought. So, if you stay in, I mean, it's good for me, right? Bring in the uh, Q here. Q could be a good switch. Dusk Noir. Okay, interesting. I might be able to. Might be able to do the uh, blast voice thing. Leftover. Cool. Pass. I'm worried about the trick room here. <laughs> That's the one thing that has me scared, but I think I can go into my blaster. Start blasting. Haze. Ooh, that's cool. That's very cool. I like that. I really like that. Water. I think I'll just surf fairly safely here. Oh gosh, the salt. I mean, I knew you would, you always do. Water. 
think this is fine now. If I shell smash and then... Oh yeah, there's no Lapras. I can pretty safely do this. Shell smash and then go for the Stellar Terra. I think that's going to be okay for me. Barring Heavy Duty Boot, Sturdy... What's it called? Heavy Duty Boot, Sturdy... Oh, and the miss. Oh, that might have mattered after a uh, night save. Heavy Duty Boot, Sturdy Skarmory is what I was trying to say. Terra Surf. I'm not leaving this up to chance. The uh, plus two character should be enough to take this down. <laughs> I'm sure it's not intentional, but it looks like Lasso has like a little cannon on top of the terror shell. That's hilarious. That was not enough. Wow. Okay. Cool. I thought I calc it to be enough. I definitely need to try that again. Can't knock me out right now. If you'd will with me, that would be a little bit annoying. Fine. So it should still do enough. Even though the terror boost this should be enough. Okay. The so Blastoise takes down the Dusk Noir. Let's see what happens from here. Oh that that was good. Uh, that haze Dusk Noir, that was really good practice. Sad I couldn't get the plus five last choice going, but this is still pretty nice. Okay, so what does this do? I have the ice beam for it. Not worried. Already got rid of the assault vest. Depending on the Raikou's item, that might be a problem. So I was planning on the plus five. Just plus two it might not be enough. It might be. Um, Surf could still do more than the Terra Boost did or a Sierra. Yeah, the surf still does a bit better. Let's try for it. In either case, I'm up to the spot. And it lives. And it goes for the Aura Spear. Yeah, that'll that'll do the trick. It must be choice. Sorry, it must be choice in some way. I have a wild thought here. I might try for the rapid spin KO. Actually, no, that's an, this is an awful plan. Um, I should have thought that through like 10 seconds more than I did. Oops. Is that Aura Spear just gonna take us out? Oops, oh well. 
it's probably... Yeah. I forgot the right code is like 150 now. I misplayed that one. <laughs> Oops. I guess we're up bringing in Zamazenta, I guess. Zamazenta needs to get through more Pokemon again. I mean, it's doable. Let's go for the crunch here, I guess. Skarmory I was worried about. Back into uh, a flashlight here. Disrupt, 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 I think is what we're gonna do. Cool. Let's encore the iron defense. I have to extreme speed. You were just scouting what I was gonna do. That's cool. There's no and taken take another uh, another flamethrower. Well, I think it might have been a roll at this range for the Chiyu after another Stealth Rock, it's guaranteed that the Extreme Speed will take it out. I just gotta be careful with my Entei now, it's, it's one of two ways I can deal with that. With the Chiyu. What do you do now though? Probably Skarmory. We've got two birds and. Ooh! Interesting. Jace here. I know I like using leftovers, so not terribly surprising, but interesting. Now, I go for this 
Okay. Boost my defense. I'm gonna just go straight for the blizzard. I have to risk the blizzard, I think. And I land the blizzard. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So, what is you and the Skarmory? Skarm probably comes in and goes for the uh, well, body press. What I'm thinking of happens here. could also technically come in, and I pretty much have to let this go down. She comes in. And at this point, I realistically have to let this go down. Go for the sacred fire. Do this and go for the close combat. Let's see if you're scarred, right? I expect you to be scarred, but let's find out. Scarf, interesting. The sacred fire at this range might be enough to take the Chiyu out anyway. After a box. Oh, that crit might have mattered. Oh my goodness. Well, it depends how much a body press to do, but this thing probably has roost. So like, ah, oh, it's rough. After this, extreme speed wins. So, pretty sure that is going to be the game. GG to my opponent. I mean, you could be. It could surprise me here that maybe this is in fact a scarf to you and you just didn't want to commit to the flamethrower. I, I don't know. Maybe you had psychic on this? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out one way or the other. You were scarf. Okay. I wasn't sure. But... Oh, and the burn too. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, GG. That was... That was well done. Well played. You had some cool tricks in there. And like that, we're going in 1-0 uh, for this Watermelon League. And we'll see how week two goes.